The last couple I have here are all connected. The first one is from Shaq, who, after Jokic was announced as MVP, so congratulations to him, third MVP in just four seasons, he was on Inside the NBA and said to Jokic to his face, Joker, as the president of the Big Man Alliance, you are the vice president of the Big Man Alliance. Uh, you know I love you. You're the best player in the league. I want to congratulate you. But I want you to hear from me first. I thought the SGA should have been the MVP. That's no disrespect to you. But congratulations. And what do you guys have to do to get back on track versus Minnesota? I respect you for saying that to him. I mean, what, I mean, what, it's an opinion. Who cares? That, was, like, that wasn't the time. Like, right when it got announced, that's not the time, bro. I mean, but then again, what he's saying is like, look, I wanted you to hear from me first because that means they're going to, you know, he's going to congratulate. Say if he didn't say that, he was going to congratulate him. Oh, my God. Congrats, congrats. Then immediately after, go on, talk to Charles and all them. Like, look, honestly, I think Shay should have won it, which is like, you know what I mean? I, I, me personally, I see what he means when he's like, That's I would rather fair. just say it to you now so that okay. you don't hear me saying congrats, good job, Jokic. Then in like 20 minutes, bro, I think Shay should have won it. So that's what that's what I see what he's saying. That's fair. That's fair. It's tough because it, like watching it live, it's like you ain't have to say that. Like he just he just got the MVP. <laughs> I feel um, but also Jokic don't really care. So it is what that it is. too. That too. Um, but again, a lot of people thought that that was a little awkward of Shaq to do in that moment. One of those people being Shannon Sharp, who went on to then his podcast to say Shaq, he might not ever admit this, but Shaq see these guys winning these MVPs and a little envious because, and, and I don't care. Look, I understand that Shaq got four titles and he has three uh, uh, finals MVPs, but Shaq no deep down. We should be having a discussion for go Shaq. Shaq name is never brought up in the discussion. Now, we bring his name up with big mans, with Will, Russell, and Kareem, and mm -hmm. rightfully so. But we're never going to see another guy, Shaq size, with his athleticism, mm -hmm. that was as dominant as him. Yeah, And he robbed himself because he didn't take it serious enough. Did he take it serious? Not nearly as serious as he should have. Mm -hmm. Shaq should have five MVPs. Shaq should have seven titles. And I think he sees he sees a guy like Nikola Jokic that's not as dominant as him and he gets three and four years. Yeah. And people and people are talking about him. And they never talk about they talk about him dominant big man. But see, when you historically great, they talk about you as great basketball player, the GOAT. And Shaq has never brought up. If Shaq would have had, if he'd have had my work ethic, he'd have had 40,000 points. He's not wrong, but damn. <laughs> yeah. Spicy. The last part added was like the the kicker because yeah. if he had if he would have took that out, it would have been like I could I get like that's all fair criticism. Literally, and it's like that you can't even work ethic out of nowhere. <laughs> and instead, if he had my work ethic, it was like oh dang, like okay. Yeah. So yeah, the, the last part really added in the whole like would make it kind of like a beef. Before then, it was like I, I hear what he's saying. You know what I mean? It still was a little like you know damn, but the last part really was the kicker. Like I said. He ain't, I mean, if people do ha have made that argument before that Shaq could have had a better career for various reasons, especially post Miami Heat Shaq, like it kind of got a little ugly with Phoenix Sun Shaq and Cavs Shaq and Boston yeah, Celtics bad. Shaq. It was, it, it was bad. <laughs> um, but he, he, look, Shannon definitely makes some good points. Shaq took that very personally, and this is the last quote I have. He commented on the post itself and replied to him and said, you took me stuck it, sticking up for SGA as jealousy of Joker. Shows how smart you are and how you say anything to get clicks. So here's some clickbait for you. If you ain't ranked in the top 10 in your profession and you can't speak on me, don't forget I know what you did to get where you at. Me jealous sounds like you're jealous. I know you're trying to stay relevant by gossiping on your podcast. We don't believe you. You need more people. And in case you forgot, I got four rings, three finals MVPs. I'm top 50 and top 75. Google me. And to be quite frank, all this new success you got, you still under me. You don't know my work ethic. I'm going to paraphrase because this is going on super long. At the end of it, he says, in the words of Skip Bayless, I'm better than you. I have it. You don't. Not in my profession. And your GOAT debate never wanted to be the GOAT. I wanted to be who you should greet me as. And then in all caps, he said, the most dominant ever. 
Hashtag the apex predator. Damn. <laughs> The, it's the, beef everywhere this year, bro. It's apparently, bro. Everyone's everywhere. just everybody's beefing, bro. We need to pick another podcast to start beef with, I guess. Right. Like, <laughs> so pick a side, we coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nah. It's just uh the the main part that got me was when he was what he said. He was like, um, oh, I know what you did to get where you at or something like that. That's part I was like, what you mean by that? You got like, info? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, like, what's, what's what's going on in Hollywood? What's going on, man? What's going on behind the scenes? But now, nah, I mean, like I said. I, it started from really Shannon, I think, taking it a certain type of way of saying, taking it in a way of jealousy of what he said to Jokic, which I can see why he took it that way. But then again, I can like, like I said, from my point of view, I didn't take it that way. So then I, I understand why Shaq would retaliate. And then of course, if you're calling him like, oh, you're not in the goat convo, like, yeah, I'm gonna say my accolades too. Like, look, listen, three time Finals MVP, blah, blah, blah. like, you know, what I'm saying, I, I would say my accolades too. So I see what he means. Um. I guess it's just it's just beef everywhere, man. It's just you saw he just dropped the diss track. That's what I was about to say. Apparently, <laughs> Shannon responded last night on Nightcap, and so Shaq responded again with a diss track. What is going on, bro? Look, look what Cat Williams done started, bro. It's only May. We ain't even halfway through the year yet. Bro, this year is crazy. Everybody's beefing, bro. Everybody's Everybody beefing. got beef. Everybody Insane. got diss tracks now all of a sudden. Chris yeah, we, Brown out here rapping a diss track. What's going what we, on, bro? What do we I don't know, bro? I don't know. I guess that's what you're supposed to do right now. Is you beef with somebody, boom, diss track. <laughs> Beat maker.